This review looks at two models, the Maz 5440, which is WSI 041121, and the Maz 6430, which is WSI 041122. Maz is the abbreviation in Belarusian for the Minsk automobile plant. Maz started around 1944, and it's interesting to see one of the non-mainstream truck makers represented in model form. The packaging for both models is fairly typical for WSI, although it is Maz branded. Opening up the box, the model sits in a tray and is factory sealed. So a swish of the knife allows the lid to be lifted and you can get the model out. The 6430 model is complete out of the box. But the smaller 5440 model comes with a couple of parts in the bag that you can fit if you want. The only assembly is on the 5440 model and that's because there are a couple of side fairings that you can fit if you want. They are metal parts and it's fairly obvious how they clip into place, although the one on the driver's side is certainly fiddly and difficult to fit. However, the one on the opposite side is certainly much easier to clip into place. Starting with the 4x2 model, the chassis is optically similar to other models that WSI have produced, and it's nicely detailed mostly in metal. The wheels look good because they have decorative discs. The Maz cab shape has been captured well, and there's a nice grille with the Maz logos and a Belarusian plate. Behind the cab there's a very nice mesh surface on the exhaust box, and there are also a set of coiled airlines. At the back the rear lights have got plastic lenses. Under the cab is a detailed but unmarked engine block. Moving on to the 6x4 6430 model, and again the main chassis is high quality and similar to that used for other truck brands. It also has the nice wheel discs and the cab casting appears to be the same as on the 5440. Behind the cab there's a different exhaust layout and arrangement of tanks. And again the wheel arches are modelled in plastic. Under the cab the engine block is the same as in the 5440. It's out onto the test track and the 5440 rolls well enough. And looking underneath the rear axle spins freely. And at the front there's a reasonable range of movement on the steering, although it is slightly loose. You can pose a harder lock on the steering than this, but then the wheels won't turn. The other feature on the cab is that it tilts. And the mechanism is good because it tilts well forward and it can stay in a tilted position. In comes the 6430 racing in and in most respects it's really the same model with just a bigger chassis. And that's pretty well mirrored in both the free rolling axles and in the steering mechanism. This one does have a slightly wider steering angle before the tyres get fouled. So if you're that way inclined you can show it cornering to your family and friends. The tilting cab also performs just in the same way as on the 5440 model. These Maz tractors are sold on their own, so let's try hooking them up to some WSI trailers. And the first one we'll try is this Denison extending trailer. The connection pin fits the fifth wheel perfectly, and there's no clashing between the trailer and tractor when turning. The height is also good with all of the trailer wheels grounded. As a second test, let's try a Nautaboom extending trailer. And again, that clips in in just the same way, and again, the geometry is good. And again, the relative height of the tractor and trailer is good because all of the trailer wheels are grounded. In summary, these are a nice pair of models of a less well-known truck manufacturer. Although there are some compromises in the detailing, they are good quality models with nice functionality. And overall, they're good enough to be regarded as highly recommended. 